Our other news tonight. Addressing gun violence in Northeast Ohio. That was the discussion in Orange Village tonight with the director of the ATF. Cleveland native Steve Dettelback shared the latest data and how we can make a change to help. Our senior crime and justice correspondent Lydia Spara was there. The summer of 2023 has been a very violent one for the city of Cleveland. So far, there have been 150 homicides in the city. Most of the murders are because of illegal guns. Shine a light on a problem that's taking place. At Temple Emanuel in Orange Village, Steve Dettelback, the director of the ATF, presented gun violence a national emergency. It was via Zoom, and he said. We're going to create in Cleveland with our partners a crime gun intelligence center. It will be a data-driven approach through the everyday work of the ATF with Cleveland police. He adds over a quarter of a million firearms are stolen each year, and those end up in the hands of people who want to commit crimes. Daryl McCormick is the special agent in charge in Ohio. A lot of the shootings are done by repeat offenders, and they're doing repeat shooters. So those are who we're trying to focus on. Studies by the ATF show firearms crimes are due to drugs, which include fentanyl and cocaine, which is making a comeback gangs and domestic issues. McCormick says big changes, though, are on the way. As law enforcement community, we're coming together like never before, and you're going to see some things over the next several months, I think, that reveal that. He also adds in Cleveland, 70 percent of the shootings investigated, ballistics connect to other shootings, which means the same gun is used for multiple crimes. Valuable information to all who attended. I had no idea that you could trace the casing or that you could get DNA off the casings. I wasn't surprised that weapons were used so over and over, but I was kind of surprised by how many times. What they're doing, I think, is, is pretty incredible. Uh, and with the resources. While the ATF admits that you can never completely get rid of gun violence, they say some of it can end if people behave better and act more civil towards one another. Lena? All right, Lydia Spar reporting from Orange Village tonight. Thanks.